Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sanosuke, and we're Let's Play in Brave Friends of Musashi again, finally. And apparently, something has gone wrong because the BGM changed again. And the mayor lets us know that something has happened. What that something is, we'll have to go and find out for ourselves. There are a couple ways you can actually go about doing that. You can actually go straight to the shops, any one of the shops, and talk to somebody. Or, you can talk to the villagers. Let's talk to Farmer Lactor. See what he has to say. Anything new, young man? Oh, that's, that's hard to hear, man. What's Farmer Grange have to say? Sunshine is lovely, ain't it? Whoa, 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 she took your life savings? And you'd rather her do that and save your action figure collection. Someone has their priorities mixed up. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Farmer McRice and see if he can give us a less insane answer. Hello. Apparently, it's involving money. So let's go ahead and talk to the uh, talk to the shop owners. See what they have to say about it. Welcome. May I help you? Ooh. So the princess came along and just basically Sheriff Nottingham to everybody. That's uh that's kinda bad. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if that's out of character for her. Uh Welcome. What do you need? Because remember, at this point in the game, we've only met her twice. You know, that, that wouldn't be something I would put past a, uh, a royal brat. You know, she... Although it's unusual that she came down here and did it herself, Hello. instead of sending someone else to do it. Hmm. Selfly action figures. Speaking of action figures, let's go ahead and buy the rest of the ones that we haven't got yet. Uh, we haven't bought any in Series 4. So we'll just go ahead and take care of all of those. And we can get some of Series 5 as well. Like Ed and Ben, Colonel Capicola, and Toadstool. I will play with all these figures. I am not going to leave these things unexplored. <laughs> You, you will see what we can do with these guys. And let's go ahead and sell some of the stuff that we have to uh, Mr. Connors here. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? And talk to him about the situation. And this is a very big hint that this is very out of character for the, for the kingdom. Because, yeah. The first time that's ever happened? Yeah, that's a big hint. But anyway, let's look at... Let's see. The hanky is worth 2,000 dran, and the underwear is only worth 10 dran apiece. Yeah, I think that pretty much seals... Yeah, that seals my theory. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and sell this stuff. And collect some monies. And the last stop is going to be the end. Welcome. Make yourself at home. So pretty much we got the lay about the situation. She came in, she demanded all the monies, and left. And everybody is up in a tizzy about it. Rightfully so. Because she just she didn't just take she took all their money. All the money that they had made and saved up. That is wow. Did she get it from the church too? That's Good actually a uh... son. <laughs> wow. 
That's actually kind of blasphemous if you got it from the church. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the geezer. Because, uh, yeah, we need to talk to Stuart Ripson. Let him, let him know what, uh... What a bad girl she's been. Okay. Oh, and she's gone. Oh, great. Okay, so we're off to find the princess again. Typical. We rescued a damsel in distress and all of a sudden she goes missing. Oh, and that thing that we helped repair the other day? Yeah! The gondola. We can actually ride it now. What it does is it allows us to go straight to where Twin Peak, the Twin Peak Mountain entrance is instead of having to go out of the, um... Out of the village. Plus, at this point, it just forces us to use it anyway, so... Might as well use it. And, uh, oh, great. Ugh, am I alive? That gondola. Way too fast. Thought I was gonna die. Huh? Steam? What if. Oh, great. Now there's. Now there's steam floating around. That's a bad thing. So let's go ahead and take the shortcut to Steamwood Mountain, right behind the house. And it's actually open this time. If you tried to take it back when Steamwood first went out, you wouldn't be able to get through there. Oh, and there's Force laying on the ground. Weird. And he gives us a handle. Okay, so now we have a new gimmick with uh Maybe I should use that handle. With Steamwood. Basically, handles are missing now. No worries, I remember. I don't need to tell you guys how to do this again. Actually, I'll just tell you. Press X on the green area. Green area, and we'll go in. There's a bit of a cutscene, and we'll see how Steamwood operates now. Phew! Now the Bincho tights can be refueled at Soda Fountain. Looks like something's wrong with Steamwood. Oh, who cares? Now I can go and report what I did to Colonel Capricola. Sorry, gals, but I alone will be promoted for this. <gasps> Musashi! Um, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? What are you doing here? Hey, I don't remember you having a tail. Ah! Don't do that! Don't! Who the heck are you? And how long were you disguised as a princess? You must be one of the stupid thieves, since you were mumbling about Capricola. Stupid thieves? Well, I guess there's no need to keep it a secret. You're correct. I'm a member of Leader's Force. My name's Topo. I guess you already met Ed and Ben. I don't have time to play with you, but next time, I'll make you whimper like a dog. Hey, wait! Just like the other two. What do you mean, whimper? You wish, pal. Huh? Looks like she forgot something. Money! 
Must be the profits from the village shops. Now everyone will be okay. Oops, almost forgot about fixing the steam leak. All right, so, as I said earlier, now we have handles that have been ripped off the uh, valve, so we actually have to go collect them before we can actually close the corresponding valve. Otherwise, you'll get a message saying, hey, I can't close this valve without this uh, handle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect two of the handles right now. I say two because I completely forgot that there was three while playing this. I knew about one and I knew about eight, and I forgot about four. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and I'll show you the message for whenever you do one. Whenever you're missing a handle. Where's the handle? Can't turn off the valve without it. Better put that handle to some use. Here goes nothing. Alrighty, so we'll just go through this right here. And in order to save some time, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through uh, all the rest of this, just so we don't have to go yes. through it again. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shut off all the rest of the valves. The only thing left to do right now is uh, grab four. Yeah, grab the uh, handle for four and close that off. Thankfully, the handle for four is right next to where you need to actually, you know, put it. Yes. You're okay. Yes. You're okay. Not really much to say here. I mean, it's 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 shutting down a uh, steam wood. I got frustrated there because I fell off. It always seems to happen when I come back a second time. Yes. Alrighty. Finished. Ah, time to relax. Yet again, we have saved the village from an exploding steam wood. Okay, that's good. Also, we gave back the profits. Alright, and since we did that, now... Time to go, uh, look for more scrolls. Thankfully, I have an idea of where the next scroll is. You guys remember the mines, right? Yeah, that's where the uh, next scroll is. And that's where we'll be heading. Like right now. <laughs> Well, almost right now. Yep. 
Yep. That's basically Musashi saying, yeah, we should probably look for more scrolls. Thankfully, I've already shown you where the next scroll is. We have to enter the mine and go into the Grillin Reservoir again, where we uh, unlock the water scroll. Enter this cave where I've been before. Now that we've defeated the Frost Dragon, we can actually activate this uh, Fire Crest. And so we will do so. By the way, I think this is the only Fire Crest in the game. I have to say... Holy smokes! What a big hole! Maybe I can climb out of here! By the way, yes, that is lava. Just to show you that I'm not playing around. Yep. Now we have to climb out of here. Except we get accosted by these bats. Thankfully, we make it to the top and they leave us alone. And unfortunately, it's 7 o'clock and there is, is another Minku. Once I catch that one, there will only be two Minkus left in the game. Wow. We are getting very, very close to the end, guys. So I'm just going to take a quick nap here in order to uh, catch that Minku. Because I really do not want to come back to get him. This won't take too long. There we go. 450. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, grab the wind scroll. And there it is. Now we can dig holes and resist wind. We're gonna dig ourselves in the hole and into a cutscene. That might not have been the smartest idea. Huh? Sis? Hmm, I think 
I met this boy before at Frozen Palace. What do you say? This kid is Musashi. You know, the one with Lumina? What we've been looking for? Oh, <laughs> really, darling? You mean this little runt? <laughs> what a letdown. The little runt was able to defeat our Bambi soldiers. Hmm, that is impressive. But isn't it because he has Lumina? Well, anyways, darling, now's our chance. Let's get Lumina while he's still unconscious. Good idea. Ow. Oh. Huh? Where am I? Hey, you guys are... chance to get Lumina, you stupid twit! But I was scared! I couldn't help it! Like, so were you, Ginger Ale! What? So you're blaming me now? <sighs> Ignorance. You know how difficult it is to break Bincho fields. Well, anyways, darling, Fear of Flatsky will hear about this. Lately he's in such a bad mood because of Rootrick's stupidity and Capricola. Don't say that I didn't warn you, darling. Don't! Sis, please don't tell him! Wait! Well, we're at an impasse, and we're stuck in this bencho field. How do we get out of here? Well, we'll have the answer for you next time. I'll see you then. <laughs>